This is VCT Masters Optic vs DRX. In this video, we're going to break down DRX's beautiful executes, Optic's mind games, and some world-class Valorant gameplay. Map score is 1-1. One one. The winner will be decided on this map. Let's hop right in. DRX start with 1B main, 2 mid, and 2A main, so a 1-2-2 default. They want to just sit back, hold for any aggressive pushes from Optic, and play off the info that they get. Makwa deploys this Viper wall towards A, and when the barriers drop, he'll throw this Viper smoke top ramp. This Viper default setup towards A side puts a ton of pressure on the defenders. The wall gives DRX cover to lurk into A main and up ramp. The smoke gives DRX cover to lurk into A main and towards site. And when the wall and smoke are used in combination, it gives DRX full control of A main, and it the defenders all info towards A. This attacking Viper setup will heavily punish defenders if they decide to leave A as their weak side of the map. Optic start with 2 playing B, 1 mid, and 2 A, so Optic is opening with a 2 1 2 setup. They expect a hard execute from DRX, so they're playing heavier towards the sites. To make up for their weak mid hold, they have chamber trips holding both A and B heaven. Optic are comfortable giving up mid, but they want to be alerted if DRX attempt to use that mid control to pinch or flank them. The barriers drop, Mako throws his Viper smoke line up top ramp, puts up his smoke and wall, and back off. In response, Crashy's KO knives a lobby for more info, but Mako and Stacks are ready for it and are positioned outside of the scan range. Zess is jiggling B main, Buzz jumps off from market to safely get info mid. They see no signs of any optic aggression. Cool, that's all DRX needed to know. Because they dodge Crashy's KO knife A main, DRX called to immediately regroup A for an A execute. Victor and Crashy's have a gut feeling an execute might be coming, so they double up site to fight the execute together. DRX walk up, and the execute begins. Mako puts up his wall in smoke, Stacks sky flashes A main, Flashy's nothing. Thing, a main is clear. RB, Zest, and Mako run up ramp and swing out of the smoke together. Ramp is clear, time to clear a heaven. Buzz Astra smokes CT and screens. Stack sends a sky flash a heaven through rafters. Flash is nothing, heaven control acquired. Zest sage wall vents to maintain heaven control for DRX. RB dashes out into a smoke while looking right to clear the close angles. He spots Victor and takes him down as his teammates scale up behind him. Mako is holding CT in an off angle from heaven. He can only play in such a risky off angle because he doesn't need to worry about vents. As a result, Mako takes down Marv and instantly repositions to not let FNS trade him out. Meanwhile, RB gets himself into a close off angle and takes down Ye. It's now a 5v1 in favor of DRX. What will FNS do? Completely different. And FNS, well, you got five to find. Ghost in hand. Mako gets info on FNS's position and ducks back. Are gonna get the hell away from that angle. He does have support here in the form of Mako and Buzz both hide and peek off each other's contact. Even though it was a 5v1, DRX gave nothing to FNS. Both teams are striving for perfect play, and DRX kicked it off with their beautiful A execute. No way, both teams are hard stacked towards A. And look at how Optic are positioned. They know DRX like taking Heaven before taking Sight. So they're giving up Heaven, they're gonna let DRX waste all their utility clearing Heaven, and then they're gonna fight on Sight together. As for DRX, they all start a position far back in spawn to dodge Crashy's KO knife. The round starts, everyone on DRX dodges a KO knife except for Mako. No worries, Mako is usually the A default player, so that info doesn't tell Optic much. DRX slowly creep forward, and once the suppression on Mako wears off, the execution begins. Viper wall up, Stax dogs up, and the rest of DRX follow right behind it. This clears all of ramp. Stax then sky flashes heaven from rafter side like before. This time, RB dashes into a smoke in heaven, expecting a fight. Heaven is cleared, so DRX flood onto site. Just make sure you're trying to be as untradeable as possible. The marker's done well. But it's gonna be Mob still disrupting and that's sharp. They slaughter all of Optic, but Victor was hiding back map as Optic's last resort. Will DRX expect this? DRX, they walk into the trap and they walk out fine, but they don't expect Victor. Even though Optic got mowed down, they still got two kills and they denied the spike plan. Pretty good damage for a save round. Optic are on a full buy, DRX are on their bonus round. DRX want to do as much damage to Optic's economy as they can, whereas Optic is looking to win this round as cleanly as they can. DRX open with a 2-1-2 default. Optic start with a standard 1-2-2 spread. The barriers drop, Zest Sage slows B main, and FNS stuns the entrance of B main. Both teams are investing utility to deny the other team from taking early B main control. Stack Sky flashes A main for info, Flash sees nothing. Crashies responds with his KO knife and it scans Mako. Both teams are evenly trading utility to prevent the other from gaining an advantage. Ye is positioned in an off angle and mail. He can play in this risky position because his chamber TP lets him get out safely. DRX plays some Astro Stars mid. Ye responds by putting a trip in mail. This way, even if he does eventually get pushed away from mail, he'll have some extra info for what DRX are up to in mid. But RB hears Ye place his trip in mail, so he's thinking Optic might have tripped mail so they can rotate out to stack a site. So RB and Zest work a mid to break the trip, hoping to draw Optic rotations back mid and away from the sites. There with the Stacks was as well, but yeah, he tucked up in towards Mayo, actually. 
Sheesh, there is no way you caught all of that. Ye and Arby took contact, both their initial bursts of bullets didn't kill, so Arby dashes away and Ye TPs away. Off Ye's contact, FNS flashes mail, but his counters by recalling his mail smoke, and Arby also throws his jet smoke to deny any optic aggression. The best teams are so fast at trading utility. Arby breaks Ye's chamber trip in mail. DRX know this will probably draw rotation towards B, so they call to end A, with Zest lurking B heaven to draw attention away from A. You've had a, a couple of maps now for any of you. But FNS, posted in a sick off angle on rafters, takes down Zest. DRX is down numbers, they want to speed up their A hit since Optic now know that Zest was alone be heaven. Stack Skydogs forward to take space, but Crashies counters with his KO knife and cancels Stax's dog. Victor posted at an off angle, takes down Mako. Ye also posted at an off angle, takes down the lurking RB. Optic then all regroup A heaven. They want to make sure they're fighting together with their numbers advantage. It's a 2v5, Stax knows they're probably not going to win unless a miracle play happens, so he wide swings from ramp and gets instantly taken down by a firing squad. Optic triple posts on heaven, but Buzz somehow finds the timing and isolates Crashies to take him down. Buzz throws up a lurk smoke, this smoke gives him more angles to peek out of. He's running out of time, even if he can't win, he wants to die so he can get full credits from the loss bonus. Not terrible. And Ye, posted in another off angle, takes down Buzz. Every single kill from Optic this round is the result of each player using off angles and trusting that their teammates has their back. This is the power of off angles. Of course, it also helps that Optic had better guns. This is the round we've been waiting for. Both teams are lethally equipped with rifles. The team that wins this round will steal the momentum. This is where the game truly begins. DRX open again with a 2-1-2 default. Meanwhile, Optic is still settling into a setup as the round starts. We'll see what they're up to in a second. The barriers drop, stack sky flashes ramp for info and crashes knives they main for info. The flash detects Victor top ramp and the knife scans both stacks and Mako. Ye and crashes then double up vents. This is a setup Optic decided on right before the round started. Ye is holding mid from an off angle in vents. Crashes is right next to him with a pop flash ready to go. Go. He's gonna flash off of Ye's contact. FNS is also in position to support me with his flashes from heaven. This is a really solid trap setup from Optic. But did DRX somehow read the setup? Because they all rotate towards A through spawn. Stack sky flash is made to show a bit of presence to keep Optic's attention mid while DRX regroups. Once DRX are all grouped up and ready to go, they put up their Viper wall and smoke. Victor immediately responds by stunning a main, delaying the push. At the same time, Marved on B jumps fast for info, he sees nothing. Crashes and Ye flash out from vents and double swing mid. They also see nothing, so they immediately rotate towards A. One tiny Q from one side of the map immediately triggers a response from every single player of Optic. Five players, one mine. That is what it means to be a great team. DRX creep up, not making any noise. They want to give Optic no time to react. They get close to the smoke and explode forward. Victor dodges a flash and stuns back, and Optic mow down DRX. 3v5, the rest of Optic are closing in. DRX need to make something happen fast. FNS stuns a choke from heaven, allowing A to swing. Well, slip the net. He's gonna isolate one. Yay! Doing so Amazing round from Optic. They finally shut down DRX's beautiful A execute. But DRX still have an entire deck up their sleeves. Can Optic keep this up? DRX decide to open with a 1-2-2 default. Optic open with a 2-1-2 setup. FNS is starting hell with his breach stun out for B main. Pay close attention to this untold B main fight. The berries drop, FNS stuns B main and Buzz dodges it. Buzz responds by recalling a star, blocking vision for any aggressing defenders. Marved also recalls both the stars. Buzz takes his opportunity to sneak into the smoke to get into an off angle. After FNS stun, he walks up to the choke and he makes stomping noises like he's running away. Buzz hears that, so in his mind, he's thinking, Okay, so Optic just done the B main entrance and double recall their smokes. This looks like a play to get an Optic player into this rat corner. I also heard Breach running away, so I think I can take a 1v1 with this guy trapped in the corner. Little did Buzz know, this was a trap set by Optic. Marv knows Buzz's line of thought, so he waits for a few seconds to bait him in, and then he pounces. He gets set up in another off angle. Go to explore it. <laughs> Finds Buzz out in space. Takes down Zest with his perfect crosser placement. Arby swings to trade, but doesn't get the insta kill and dashes away. Marv with the confidence, Arby with the respect. Now that Optic has a numbers advantage, look at how their A players respond. They started with Neon and KO double posted A main, but once Marv started getting kills on the B side, they repositioned to a more passive setup. They know they don't need to take any unnecessary risks. Play back, play for info, and then take fights together with their numbers advantage. DRX caught a regroup and re hit B. But look at this dirty setup from Optic. Marv recalls a smoke to let FNS cross and get set up back site without being seen. Marv is posted under rafters in an off angle, taking first contact with the suck at the choke ready. And FNS is hiding, ready to fire his utility off of Marv's contact. Line and the timing could be great for it. That's his stun comes through. Yeah, all coming together. Very limited amounts of threat. My goodness, Optic just put DRX through their freaking meat grinder. A flawless run from Optic. 
Both teams are back on the full buy. If Optic win this round, they're going to be maxed out on credits and will basically be able to full buy for the rest of the half. And if DRX lose this round, they're going to lose all momentum and they're going to go bankrupt again. This is an incredibly important round for DRX. DRX start with a 3-1-1 default. They know that Optic are one off breach out and national alt, so they want to prevent them from farming the B main orb. RB has an op this round, so he's going to be passively holding any mid pushes with that op. Optic start with a 1-2-2 setup. This setup is heavier towards A and mid, so instead of doing their usual A heaven trip, they move that trip to B main where Ye is playing alone. Marv does one off Asha ult, so Optic make the call to grab the A orb at the start of the round. This is a relatively safe play since Optic have conditioned DRX to play back and spawn at the start of the rounds to avoid their KO knife. The round starts, Marv farms their orb and quietly backs off. At the exact same time on the B side, both teams throw a ton of utility into B main. Sage slow, Sky flash, Breach stun. Both teams are keeping each other in check with their utility. Mako is actually using his Viper wall and smoke on the B side of the map this time. If you want to learn what this Viper B wall and smoke combo does, I explain it in my Sentinels vs Crew analysis, so check it out if you're interested. Ye is aggressively holding B main. He can do this because he has his chamber TP to get out safely. Plus his insane aim also kind of helps too. DRX realized that Optic aren't pushing B main, but what about mid? Stack sends his Sky Flash mid to find out. Flash is nothing, but off that flash, Effinus immediately responds with a flash of his own. He's so fast at trading utility. DRX hear the counter flash and now they're scared. Optic could be pushed up and ready to fight. So DRX slowly work back mid together with RB Zop, one angle at a time. The Sky Flash is a cue for FNS that DRX are working back mid, so he calls for Crashies to rotate to B. The Sky Flash mid, the utility dump to B main, the Viper wall towards B, all these cues paint a picture in FNS's mind. He thinks DRX are currently working up mid and that they're probably about to hit B heaven. So FNS uses his Aftershock mid to delay DRX's mid push. He wants to buy time for Crashies to rotate over to B, but DRX are still in market. They're too scared of Optic's potential push, plus they have an op, so they're working mid a lot slower than expected. When Crashies arrives, FNS flashes mid again. This flash ensures DRX doesn't get a timing into mail, giving him and Crashies time to safely get into a position for their setup. It also delays DRX's mid push, so it's hitting two birds with one stone. I want to point out that FNS just blew literally all his utility based on a scenario he created in his mind just from one sky flash mid from DRX. And if DRX weren't playing it extra slow because of their op, his utility timing would have actually been pretty much perfect. That is freaking insane. DRX group up and work up mid. Optic have a nice setup in B heaven. Crash is playing in an off angle. FNS with a stun out. DRX execute their B hit. Optic stun, suck, and molly mail. But half of DRX got past the suck. In the fragment grenade now. But Optic aren't giving away too much territory. They're still holding a fair amount. Zest swings out and takes down Ye. DRX waterfall out of heaven together and trade one for two. It's now a 4v2 in DRX's favor. Approach and now looking at the tactics of Optic, you've only got two. Held behind the walls. Held behind so much. It's going to be brutal for them to work on in. Trying to facilitate maybe that opportunity right now as Victor gets himself in, but he has to get going. He goes and finds Buzz. But Victor goes huge and takes down two. 2v2 now. Absolutely no right finding those on the way back in, but Victor making this a real possibility here. The Viper's pit could be the turning factor here for DRX. Oh, just tipped away. And Victor, that's a crossfire on the other side. It's going to be so hard to break. How do you do it? You can't. Marco's got your number. Now Marv in a 1v2, and already you can see the wrap on pillar from Marco. Trying to be as annoying, as hard to find as possible, and Marv just hunted it down, but he's running out of time. Marv has no time to win, so he decides to go for some econ damage. Down as low as it's gonna go. Split gets taken down. That was the most important round for DRX, and they won it. They're back in the game, but can they keep this up? DRX is back at it with their A executes. They haven't done the fast A hit since round two, so it's time to change up the pace. But it looks like Optic are actually prepared for this. Victor and Crashies are playing A like usual, but Ye is now starting on A, close to the barrier, looking to get an aggressive peek with his chamber op. An op is the scariest when you don't know where it's positioned, so this change up from Ye could be deadly. The round starts, DRX sprint forward, but Crashies KO nice immediately since Ye is playing close and it suppresses four members of DRX. Ye peeks out A main, sees no one peeking. Victor stuns top ramp, delaying RB, which allows allows Ye to swing out and op RB in the back. Optic then called to all fight Raptors together, but DRX aren't coming out yet, so Crashies throws a molly against the wall that lands top ramp. This lets Ye aggressively peek from top ramp and he finds a kill on Zest. Party's not over yet, Crashies pop flashes out of the A main smoke and FNS breach ults A main. Utility is thrown, Victor slides into Ye slow unfortunately and gets put down. Just when DRX think they've got some room to breathe, Marv lurks up behind them with a pinch. Oh, and the wrap! Nasty work from Mob. He gets one and gets traded out. Optic then triple post on the A main smoke. This relentless pressure from Optic is absolutely oppressive. 
Time passed, and the optic think Buzz might be looking to rotate B, so Crashy stays heaven to anchor, while FNS and Ye double up and rotate together. Buzz is spotted by Crashy, so FNS and Ye start rotating back. Notice how Crashy isn't peeking, he's not giving Buzz any chance to isolate a 1v1. FNS rotates towards screens, but he doesn't push any further. He patiently holds and waits for Ye so they can take a fight together. Buzz is running low on time, so he plants a spike. As the plant comes in, and now they're ready to play back in on this one. Stunned up, suppressed. So little to do, the timing's not bad. Very well played by Optic. DRX call a timeout. I wonder if they're cooking up something spicy. DRX start with all five players on the B side of the map with a Viper wall towards A. They're on a save round, so they just want a hard hit B. But look, Optic have drastically changed their setup. They have Neon and Kale playing on the B side instead of A, Chamber and Breach are starting A instead of B, and Ash are still anchoring B. But look at these stars. A star for a B main smoke, a stuck for when they come out, and another star for a smoke or stun, further delaying and execute. That's pretty oppressive. And since Optic have three players playing towards the B side of the map, Ye has both his trips towards A. Great resource management from Optic. Off the start, DRX smoke off mail and sky flash mid. They want to make Optic think they're working mid this round. Optic smoke mid in response. At the same time on A, FNS stuns A main off the start, letting A safely get onto the aggressive A main angle. This lets FNS leave A and rotate towards mid. DRX are up B main now, it's time for the execute. Now. Get out of my way! There it is. It looks like simple stuff coming in. RB has control of backsight, but Optic's utility is delaying his teammates, so he patiently waits. The rest of the team scale up with the Sky Dog, and they trade two for two. Just gets raised, Optic, try to hold. Victor dropped his judge on default, and Stax picks it up as he plants. 3v3, Optic have better guns, but Stax has his judge, and RB still has his jet knives. Much more of that just now. The aftershock actually going to force RB back a little bit. He can't eat one of those ticks. This is gonna get so painful, and now here comes that retake. Stacks on the side, though, Judge in hand! Tries to be the executioner, he can't get it. And now FNS, a 1v2, DRX are digging deep on this one. Rez gonna come in as well! They're throwing everything at him! Now RB goes down, but time. FNS has to make this quick. The jump peak from Buzz, and he's buying every single second for them. So valuable, and FNS, he's being run around here. Ring of Rosie, they're gonna be just playing this in the most nasty way. Jump what is spicy execution from DRX. It's also so cool how the smallest things, Victor buying a judge, Stacks picking it up, Crash is dying because he didn't check default, and Zest having a Sage res up. It's wild how the smallest things can snowball so quickly, resulting in DRX winning this round with only pistols. DRX start with a 2-2-1 default. They want to prioritize B main and mid control this round. Optic start with a 1-3-1 setup. Since they've started with a weak mid setup for so many rounds so far, they really want mid control this round. The barriers drop, Ye sets his chamber TP up and aggressively walks on mid. Stack sky flashes out mid, it detects an optic member so DRX slow it down. Crashes KO knife suicide for info while Ye holds market from an off angle. DRX have a feeling optic are regressing so Stack sky dogs out to clear mid. Great jiggle peek from DRX, baiting out Ye's op shot and TP. The round slows down. DRX want to wait and see if Optic are gonna keep aggressing or not. After a while, Mako regroups B with the rest of the team. Victor is jiggle peeking mid for info. Marvin crashes is doing an upper under setup at new box and rafters. This setup is super hard to deal with. Optic are ready to receive a B hit. DRX pop through Ash all and Sky out of B main. Victor sprints away from mid to help fight the execute. But wait, three members of DRX hear that and are now walking up mid. Victor walks back mid to clear a potential late lurk, but he walks into three players. Crashy tries to trade but gets spammed down by Mako. 3v4, Optic is down number so they need to make a play to stabilize the round. FNS was late to the party so he makes the most out of this by tucking in close. There's no way DRX will expect this. Marv is playing close to new box, waiting for the right time to strike. He was blind regardless, he still did well. Do they know? That there's still another player up there. I thought FNS could have done more, but no, it's down to someone like Marv, who finds the timing just right and says, Give it a leap for the Marv! And Marv goes huge with a 3k to save the round for Optic. Great play by Marv, but we also have to give props to DRX's strat. Like a B main fake into a late three man mid lurk? That was absolutely crazy. And keep watching, it only gets better. DRX start with a 2-2-1 default. Mako has one off Viper ult, so DRX are looking to get that online this round. Meanwhile, Optic open with a 2-1-2 setup. Ye is planning on aggressing A again. FNS is gonna stun A main to get Ye on the angle. Their mid hold is weaker this round, and they have three towards the B side of the map, so both their chamber trips are on the A side this round. The round starts, Zest default slows B main. This stops the aggressive jump peak from Marv, limiting Optic's info gathering. Meanwhile, Ye is posted in an off angle out in the open in A main, with his TP set up to get him out after he makes contact. DRX smoke off vents and sky 
sky flash mid. The flash is nothing, so DRX no optic aren't aggressing mid. Optic smoke mid in response. This stops DRX in their tracks. DRX put up the Viper Wall A to hopefully draw rotations away from mid, but that's not gonna work since he has full info in control of A main. Ye's telling his team, hey, the Viper Wall's a fake, they might be going B. So Crash is knives B for info. The knife doesn't scan anyone, so Victor and Mart push up to take control of the space. Meanwhile, DRX make the call to regroup A for an A hit. Crash is from Rafters, throw a flash lineup outside of B main for Victor to peek. Optics see nothing B lobby, so they're telling A to be careful of an A hit. Stack Sky Dogs on mid, hoping to draw some attention towards mid and away from A as the rest of DRX walk up A. So that's gonna be all relayed towards Ye. He knows what's up on this now. He's already been told, like, okay, maybe they're in middle, but they're probably coming towards that A site. So again, he Ye gets one and TP's out. Oh, he's down. Spot on the cross, and finesse, that's a dangerous game you're playing there, you gotta be careful. There's still so many threats here that's starting to pour towards the site. Ye from the back line, still trying to swing it. Zest takes down his buddy, FNS is gone, so Ye on a bit of an island here. DRX methodically work up A, taking down both FNS and Ye. Remember the flank, remember the Victor got his so <gasps> No! No shot! Does Victor gets two huge kills. He walls up to give Optic more space, but the wall also gives DRX space to fully deploy their Viper ult. Force the ult out, they have to try and defend this with everything they've got in the kid, Marco and Buzz. Sweating bullets right now. As Victor still stands, spamming away, trying to catch maybe a lucky tag or something. But in we go. Buzz finds him, grabs him down, puts him away, and that's that Viper Hall is so hard to deal with. Even though stacks got knifed, the rest of the RX managed to keep cool and close out the round. Optic take a timeout. What changes are they gonna make for the last two rounds of the half? Optic are all saving except for Ye, who is hero rifling this round since he'll have his ult for next round. That rifle could be Optic's chance to upset this round. DRX all start on the B side of the map. They know Optic on a save, so they just want to keep it simple and do a clean B execute. As for Optic, they have three players looking to make an aggressive play into a lobby. Unfortunately, the read is off and no DRX players are there. Optic are leaving mid completely open with two on B. Ye playing in this cheeky off angle on Shroud. Remember that Ye's the one with the rifle on Optic, so he's gonna need to go huge this round. The barriers drop and Optic explode towards the lobby. It's a lot of space taken. It's so fast as well. They clear all of a lobby. They now know DRX are looking to hit B. Meanwhile, DRX are lurked to B main. RB dashes out, looking left mid dash and spots Ye. Ye turns around to dodge the sky flash, and RB uses his timing to take him down. Galaxy brain from RB. Just not gonna let anything fall foul here. He's gonna take him through the rifle gone for Optic. It's a 5v3 in favor of DRX. Victor still has his neon ult though. How is Optic gonna approach this retake? Yeah, but nobody else there. It's... They can't swing it. Yeah, it's not gonna be feel comfortable doing that solo. DRX with five here. Good to lock down this beat. Nice flash. Really? Huge pop flash by Crashies, but DRX's four man crossfire was too much for Victor. And DRX flawlessly take down the rest of Optic. Last round of the half, both teams are neck to neck, not giving each other any room to breathe. DRX open with their standard 1 2 2 default. They just want to hold for any early Optic aggression. Optic begin with a 3 0 2 spread. They're leaving mid open and are looking to get aggressive info in both domains. They know how deadly DRX's executes are, so they want to get info of it coming as early as possible. The barriers drop, and Ye aggressively walks up A main with his op. Stack Sky flashes A main for info and it detects Ye. The element of surprise is gone now. Ye decides to retreat. Meanwhile, on B, Buzz peeks into B main with an op. He sees Two members of Optic peeking and backs off. DRX know that Ye's aggressively posted A main with a Zop and they don't want to deal with that. They even ping where they think he is. So they make the call to regroup and retake control of B main. Optic want to peek into B lobby for deeper info, but they don't want to dry peek into a knob. So Crashies goes to Rafters for his flash lineup and he flashes for Victor to peek. But Buzz is hiding since he's just waiting for his team. Optic saw nothing B lobby from that push, so they know DRX are likely looking to hit A. So Optic all start shifting towards A. Meanwhile, RB and Zest are already all the way in mail. DRX are ready to initiate a B split. Stack Skydogs to retake control of B main. This prompts Optic to start shifting back B, especially since he has line of sight into A main. Considering the rotation towards A, now in the back of contact, Victor will come back towards stairs. But nothing get to buy him in. What? What? He doesn't get checked on! The wall goes up but a little late! Oh, the cross but there's the res coming out and he's still being a nuisance, it's still being a problem! Crashes by his side, they pinch towards heaven and send him towards hell! Mark to the corner and no one keeps him in the corner! This is down to now two! Marco and Zest, nothing to be said about it! Optic on the shutdown, they're gonna get this score right back or even! And in the blink of an eye, Optic dismantles DRX to tie up the scoreline. So DRX just showcased their execute-centric style on attack. Now, I wonder what style of attack Optic will show us in the second half.